Hi guys, welcome to Senior Shape. Today I've got a quick express bar video for you. You loved my first bar video. This is one to do with weights at the same time we're working our legs to get you in and out if you only have a short amount of time. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Come to a first position, heels together, toes apart, arms go all the way up, gently down to the side. Big inhale, arms go up with a little bend in the legs. One more. Now keep the legs straight and we're gonna add a little releve here. Up and down. All the way up on the tippy toes, lowering back down. Shoulders are down and back, big circles with the arms. Give me four, for three, two, last one, big side taps here, reach and then shift the weight reaching to the other side. Nice big long extension. Make it align all the way from your fingertips to your toes. Bending the opposite knee. Each time make it a little bit bigger. Four more here. Last one. All right, give me some attitudes here. Hands on the hips. We're lifting the leg, knee is out to the side. So using that inner thigh. Tummies are tucked in. Abs will be at the end of the workout. It's gonna be standing core. Make sure that you've got a nice light pair of hand weights. I'll be using three pounds today. Wouldn't go too much heavier than that. Four more here. Two and one. One more big plea. Arms go up. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale up. Arms out to the side. Now big stretch all the way over. Back to center. All the way over. Back to center. Two more. Nice job, go ahead and grab those hand weights and have your chair handy to use in after a few moves here. Start in the first position, again, heels together, toes apart. We're gonna take a little plie here and then up and squeeze. When you bend, think about sending your knees out to the side. Now at the same time, we're gonna take our arms, cross them and out. Like they're both making a figure eight, down. And up. Plie, squeeze up, down. When you lift up here, squeeze those buns together behind you, press the thighs together. Good, two more here. Okay, just the right arm. We go down and up. Figure eight with that, with that arm. Four more on this side. Nice and big, working the shoulders. Good, left side. Down and left. Down and left. Now we're working those arms, don't forget about the legs. Knees out to the side. Squeeze those glutes on the way up. Four more on the left. We've got one more set of doubles. Here we go. Down and left. Make it big. Oh, I feel those legs now. A few more here, guys. Give me three. For two. Last one. Nice job. Take those feet nice and wide, as wide as you comfortably can, down to a second position. That just means, again, nice and wide, toes out to the corners. Weight is gonna be in the heels. Palms are forward. We're gonna plie down as we bicep curl up and release. Now, similar to the other one, we've got a little series. We're gonna do doubles, single, single, back to doubles. Four more here. For two. Left hand on the hip. I want you to pop that right heel 
same thing, plie down, but just bicep curl with the right arm, popping that right heel. You're gonna really feel that emphasize in that inner thigh. Nice, four more here. For three, straight up and down. Switch it, other side. Left arm bicep curls, pop that heel down and squeeze. I know it's a lot at once. Packing it in today for you. If you're doing this for the first time and you're new to bar, maybe just start with one, either arms or legs. Give me four. For three, two, and one. Last set, guys, back to doubles, palms forward. Here we go. Press through those heels, knees going out to the side. Squeeze it up, bend, and squeeze. Go four. For three, you got this. Two. And one, release. You'll only need one weight now. And grab your chair for a little bit of balance, working the triceps. You can stay facing me and return to the side so you can see. Take a big step back. We're gonna do a little tricep kick back here with a heel press. So we're gonna extend both that heel and the tricep back, the arm back, and then bend both in. So squeeze it back, release. Straighten the arm, bend the knee. You got it, give me four more here. For three, two, and one. Take that arm back again, flip the palm to the ceiling. Now we're gonna turn this into a little baby lunge as the palm comes up to the ceiling. So we bend down and press the palm up. Gotta make this little lunge as big or as little as you need to. Think about dropping the hips straight down. Four more. Two. Guess what, we've got one more set. Stay here, we press it back. Press, release. Trick here is to keep that elbow nice and high behind you to really activate that tricep. Give me a little squeeze, bend. For four, three, two, and one. Here we go again, hold it back, palm up. Bend and lift, bend and lift. Think about pushing through the heel on that front foot. Almost there, guys. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, shake that out. You stay facing me. I'm just gonna switch sides here. Other side, nice step back. We bend, then heel presses to the floor as we extend the elbow. Bend and straight. Again, elbow stays nice and high, activating the tricep, and then keep the shoulder pressed down and back. Two more here. All right, straighten that arm again. Palm goes up. We drop down to that mini lunge. Lift the arm. Down. Down and lift. Pushing through the heel and that front leg. For four, three, two, second set, here we go. Bend, squeeze it back. Nice stretch for that calf muscle. Try to get the heel towards the floor. Don't force it if it doesn't reach. For four, three, two more. Here we go, hold it back, palm up, little bend and lift. Bend and lift. Straight up and down, both knees bending. For four, three, can you go one inch higher? And last one, release. Drop that weight, guys, you're done with those weights. Coming back using our chair for balance here. We're gonna start with some leg lifts. 
You stay facing me with your chair so you can hold on with both hands. What we're gonna do is a little series here. Eight front kicks, eight pulses, and eight little isolating bend straights. Then we go to the side, then we go to the back. One time through. So here we go, extend that right leg out, point the toe, and we're gonna turn it out. So think about turning out from the hip. So you want the knee to go out to the side rather than to the ceiling. Here we go, eight times for eight, seven. Think about lifting with that inner thigh and your core. Four, three, two, and one. Now hold that leg up, give me a little pulses here for eight. Little teeny lifts for four, three, two, and freeze. Bend straight, bend straight. So you're putting a teeny little bend and then straighten it, pointing the toe for four, three, two, and one. You got it, that's it, but same thing to the side. Again, turned out. So think about knee going to the ceiling rather than knee forward. Lift it, put it down. Trying to keep nice and tall here. Not shifting around, pulling up super tall. I don't care how high that leg goes up. Four, three, two, and one. Here come the pulses, hold it here. Little lifts for six, five, four, three, two. Here come the bend straight, bend straight, bend straight. Squeeze that quad. Holy moly, I know. For three, two, and one. Put it down, you stay there. I'm just gonna turn to the side. Same thing to the back. Little bend in that front leg. We lift and tap. Again, think about turning the leg out. So knee to the side rather than knee towards the floor. Point your toe. Nice, long, pretty lines. For three, two, one, hold it up for eight pulses. Seven, six, five, four, three. Here come the bend straight, bend straight, bend straight. Really lengthen that leg. Straighten the knee. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Beautiful, same thing, other side. You stay facing me. This time our left leg, point that toe forward. Turn that hip out, straighten the knee. We lift and lower. It's amazing to think that we can actually use our core to assist lifting our legs. Why it's so important to keep them activated. Four, three, for two. Hold it up, eight pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and freeze, bend straight. Keep it turned out, I know it's hard. Four, three, two, and one. Same thing to the side, turned out knee to the ceiling. Here we go. Standing nice and tall, that's the hardest part. You might be feeling it in the standing leg and that's normal for two. And one, hold it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and freeze. Bend straight, bend straight. Almost there, guys. Keep that foot turned out, heel towards me. For four, three, two, and one. To the back, point the toe, little bend, and that other leg. Here we go, lift and tap. Straighten the knee. And again, keep that turned up position. Really good at working those glutes. Tummy's in, protecting the lower back. I know it's a lot to remember, guys. Two more. Here come the little lifts. Little lift right there. Just an inch or two for four, three, two. Here we go. Bend straight, bend straight. Lengthen that leg, straighten that knee for four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, beautiful job. I warned you, we were packing it in today. Give me a little stretch here, step back from your base of support, shift the hips back, 
straighten those knees, stretching out. Give me a little heel pedal here. For four, three, two, and one. Nice job. You guys stay facing me. Here comes our abs. Still working the legs and the booty a little bit. Standing a little bit off to the side so we've got room. I want you to lift your front knee. So it's like in a tabletop position. Arm comes up nice and high. Tighten that core. We're gonna take that leg and extend it straight back as we hinge forward so we're parallel to the ground. Now without dropping that leg, bring it back up. The knee comes up. This is for the core, you guys. Here we go. We lean forward and pick it up. Tighten that tummy. Hinge forward and left. We hinge and left. Make sure you're breathing. Three. For two. Lift. Last one. Now hold it here. Again, using that core. Little lifts. Try not to use the hip flexor. Think about tightening a tummy. Give me four, three, two, and one. Release it down, beautiful job. Extend that leg out to the side. Take this arm, reach it all the way over with a little bend in that standing knee, and then pick it up. We're using our oblique here, our core to stretch, and use that same side body right here to pick yourself back up. Big stretch and left. Four more. Then we're going to the other side. Then we've got a couple stretches and then we're done. I'm getting you out of here. Need one more. Nice job. Other side. Standing position. Lift that knee. Tummy's in. Arm comes up. And we hinge forward, parallel to the ground. And lift it up again without dropping that foot down. And left. Belly button is pulled into the spine. Think about extending that leg as long as you can. You're feeling this in that standing leg too, totally normal, it's great. Working a lot of things at once here. Two more guys. Hold it here, use that tummy. Little lifts. Using the core to lift that leg, not the hip flexor. Four, three, two, and one. Back out to the side, extend that leg nice and long. Big reach over to the side and all the way over. Feeling a beautiful stretch in that oblique. And again, using that muscle to pull you up. Tummy stays in. Oh, that feels so good. Three more. Mind where that muscle is for two. Last one, nice job. Come back behind your chair. Take a big step back with one leg. Lunging forward with that front leg. I want you to think about tilting your pelvis forward to you feel a really nice stretch in that hip flexor. We work that a lot too with those front kicks and the knee raises. Hold that there. And then lift that arm. And I take a little bend over to the side. I should intensify that stretch. It should feel really good. And release it other side. Big step back with that opposite leg. Bending both knees, pelvic tuck forward. We stay nice and lifted. Raise the same arm as the same leg that's back and then lean over in the opposite direction. This is the perfect stretch if you 
sit all day in your chair or on the couch, you're not getting enough exercise, release, bring that leg back up to meet the other one. I want you to bend those knees round the back. Just feeling a really nice release in that lower back. And then shift your hips side to side, keeping the bend in the knees. Again, that should feel really nice. And that lower back, keep it rounded. And then take one more step back here. Big inhale, exhale, just drop the shoulders. Again, releasing any tension in the lower back, trying to keep the knees straight. Maybe you can even lower those hands to the floor. Hang out here just for a second, big inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, tummy in, round that spine up. One vertebrae at a time. Give me some big shoulder rolls here. Arms come out. Cross one arm over the other. Nice shoulder stretch here. Give yourself a big hug. Inhale. Exhale. Keep the hug. Drop the shoulders down. Release the other side. Cross the opposite hand on top. Walk those fingers back. Big hug. Inhale. Exhale. Drop the shoulders. Release it down. Flex those palms towards me, straightening the elbows. Take it out to the side. Hold the fingers down. Then switch them to the back. Continue to take them all the way back if you can. Lace those fingertips together. Nice proud chest. Try to straighten those elbows to stretch out the chest and the biceps. So good, you guys. Nice quick workout. You can do anytime. Thanks for joining me today. If you like this video, please like it, share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so so that you get notified of any uh, workouts that come out on a weekly basis. Great job. We'll see you next time.